It was nice to have him on uninterrupted for a full hour and a half, which is inconceivable, even on talk radio, because you have news, traffic, weather, sport, commercials, uh, promos. Uh, <laughs> there are a thousand things that you have to do in a, in a traditional commercial radio sense. So it was nice to sit and talk to him. And a lot of my guests, including uh, Tony Leon, said to me the other day that he felt like he was just sitting in someone's house having a chat to them. And I like that. That's what I want to create, that intimacy. And I want to, if we're going to interview people, it must count. I want to know what goes on when they're alone. I want to know what goes on in their relationships. I want to know what they feel about things that matter to the rest of us. And Julius is not a fool. And Julius is not to be underestimated. And don't believe that he's just doing things for shock value. This is a very smart man. I still believe, and it gets me into trouble, that he will be president one day. And I think that he has an element of that authenticity I was talking about earlier that really appeals to people, despite the fact that he also has a rebelliousness that is not contained. And I think if you consider the Julius that we are dealing with now and compare him to the Julius that was president of the Youth League in the ANC, you've already seen a maturation of a character. In politics, it's all about opportunity and the development of your character. And Julius is trying to get both of those right. He sees an opportunity. I'm sorry for him the platinum belt strike is over <laughs> because it will rather take the wind out of his sails for the moment in that respect. But I think that he's someone to keep an eye on. An eagle eye on. There's lots of material for him, you're quite right. There's so much material in this country for all of us. Ask comedians.